Yeah. Can anybody take your finger right now in the comment section and just simply say, I believe, yeah, I believe that God has the wherewithal to turn my frown upside down. I believe that God has the wherewithal to make my crooked path straight. I believe that God has the capacity to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can think and or imagine, I still believe that he's good. I still believe that he is a way maker. I still believe that my trouble don't last all ways. And because I believe that, I'm going to get through this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to get through this thing. We're going to get through this thing. That's the good news. Because the Bible declares in Matthew 11 and 28 that he will give you rest. It says, come unto me, all ye who are weary and burdened. And he says, I will give you rest. When the world is troubling you, know that he will trouble that thing that is troubling you. He'll fight your battle. Yeah, he'll handle your situation. But he says, come unto me, because in me, you'll find rest. You'll find strength for your journey. You'll find peace along your path. You'll find joy in the midst of your despair. He says, come unto me. I get it. I get it. Life sometimes can be exhausting. Sometimes life just lives. But he says, come unto me on your job. Come unto me whether you're trying to finish that degree. Come unto me in your ministry battles. Come unto me when your bills, when it feels like you got more bills than you got dollar dollar bills, y'all. In your relationships and everything else, he says, come unto me 